Hi, my name is David O. Hensley, and I've been a patient and a loyal customer of Type Medical Center now for over eight years. And I could not be more happier to be here today to share you my experience with the Titan Medical Center and give you my testimonial. Well, before Titan, I noticed myself being a little tired, more tired than normal. I was lagging in the gym, lagging in the bedroom. I was not feeling up to par. Nor my, because I'm a very hyper person to begin with. So for me not to have the levels of energy I was used to was becoming concerning to me. So that's why I made a decision to come to Titan Medical Center. And once I made that decision and I got my blood work done, they actually showed me what my body was not producing anymore. And after 40 years old, you know, our body stopped producing natural testosterone, natural energy, libido, everything that we need to survive and have a function full healthy lifestyle so once I decided to make the call to Titan got my labs done it was then they customized the therapy program just for me and I cannot be more happier than I have ever been as soon as I walk in that bedroom I want to feel like the man I am as soon as I get up and start my day I want to feel like I can conquer and challenge today and that's what Titan Medical Center provided for me the energy and the strength to do so so the Titan therapies I use are first off the Titan Complete, which is my must have daily injectable. It gets me the energy levels that I need. It feels, makes me feel like my immune system is even stronger than I've ever before. I use the Hercules Potion. Now with the Hercules Potion, I like to do about 20 minutes before my workouts. I do side injections. So like if I'm doing chest and tries, I do 50 I use, 50 in each one. Go to the gym and the amount of pump I get is insane. I can actually do Hercules Potion and just go for a jog and I feel like I went to the gym for an hour and trained. The muscle density, the vascularity, the hardness is insane and I love it, without a doubt. It's one of my therapies I can't do without. Now they also have me on testosterone replacement therapy, which is great, and HCG, and the anti-estrogen blocking pills, which is a must have because you know, wasted testosterone is going to get converted to estrogen and we don't need to be crying at a commercial. We don't want to be upset, we don't need to be. So having the right amount of hormones balanced in your body, done professionally, you know, custom, that is so important to maintaining this healthy lifestyle. My medical Titan provider and service was excellent. In fact, it was the simplest thing is making a phone call. Once I made the phone call, once I came to the office, they, they, they reassured me how easy it would be. Once I got my labs done, then it was smooth sailing from there. They go over the top to make sure that you are getting what you need for your body. You know, the nurse practitioner, the doctors here, the whole crew, the staff, they make it comfortable, they make it simple, they make it easy, educational, and informative. And that's so, it's vital. I mean, you, a lot of these companies out there, when you go see them, they'll sell you what you need or what's this and that. They'll try to sell you on some of these things and your body doesn't need that. Titan is, they're loyal to making sure their customers are taken care of and their body is gets what, exactly what it needs. Am I happy as a Titan patient? Ugh, I, I'm over the moon happy, ecstatic. It's, happiness is like a word right about here. Titan is up here. And that's how I feel every day. It's like when, when I get asked, am I happy with Titan Medical? Over the moon. I could not be more happier. Thank you again, Time Medical, for all you've done for me, the people I've sent you, my friends, my clients. I cannot be more happier. Thanks again. Dressed like an angel in white on the way. Can you be like a drone straight from a song that I've known? On this road that you wander Burning like some bottle rock Let me fight for your honor Raise a wall for your truth The founders of Titan Medical Center, John and Cherise Sikouris. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I need everybody just to get up out of their seats real quick and drop down and give me 10 push ups. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just sit there. I'm just playing around. So, when I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. 
a very painful and debilitating disease. I was also diagnosed with another very popular disease called blind faith. Now, for those of you out there that do not know what that is, that is when you go to a doctor and you're looking for the cure and he's going to give you that cure. Well, in my particular scenario, he didn't give me a cure. He just gave me lots and lots of medications and lots of invasive laparoscopic surgeries. Sounds like fun, right? No. no. Okay. So I actually ran into a few different things. One of my challenges was that I did miss half of my senior year of high school due to all the surgeries and all the pain that I was in. So I had to go and sit in front of a committee and explain to them exactly what was going on. But I did do it with a smile and a 3.9 GPA. 28 years old, I was tired, I was lethargic. I was also working with doctors and athletes and I still couldn't find out the problem. It was one simple blood test that told me my hormone problems were off, free and total testosterone were low. When I changed this and I fixed my hormones, I felt like a whole different person. It was like the shade opened up for the first time and I just seen the sun. It was awesome and I felt awesome. I felt like if I was like this, then there were other people out there that felt the same way. So I knew that we could help them. It was lucky that I had my best friend, my business partner, and my wife alongside of me to be able to open this up. But the problem was not being able to fund it. With $2,000, it was real rough. Now we have to remember, this $2,000 was our tax return check and it was from the IRS and the very last bit of money that we had. So not only did we have to figure out how we were going to fund the medical center, but we cannot forget that we had a two-year-old cute little Greek hungry baby at home that needed lots of food and lots of diapers. So this was going to be an interesting uh, task for us. So I did go to my mom and I asked her, I said, hey mom, listen, this is the idea we got. I know we can do this. I have a sure I, this is going to work. She looked at me and she goes, are you absolutely out of your mind? Now, mind you, my mother is from Trinidad. She's very old school. Okay. So she goes, you're crazy. She goes, you know what? I think you guys are going to end up in a box under I-75. Well, we did it. We opened up tight medical center. We found a place that would run to us day by day and by the week. We found a doctor that would work with us by patient by patient and we created our dream. We envisioned. It was awesome. But then rolled around the speed bumps and those curveballs that come at you. After we had the practice up and running, the place that we're running from said, you got to be out in 30 days. We kind of freaked out. At that point, we put our heads down, we put them together, and we found a place that would run us a space. We had the build out done, and we were up and running again. We have a thriving practice today, and it's awesome. But being an entrepreneur, nobody believes in you at all. That's very true. And I'll tell you, it's very important, especially to us, because we've been through the trials and tribulations. It's very important that we educate as many people out there as possible, that if they might be experiencing some of those same things that we had to go through, that we can help those people. Up to this day, we have helped thousands of people nationwide, and we will continue to help thousands of people nationwide. I cannot tell you how rewarding it is every single day that I get up that we have been able to help people, whether it's get out of bed and go to work, or it just might be a better time in the bedroom with your significant other, because we all like that, right? So my very last words here I want to leave you with is having blind faith is never a good thing. Having no faith from your family and your friends is an even worse thing. But having faith in yourself and each other, that is the equation to success and dreams.
What's up guys, John here. We're uh, just finishing up the WCFL of debt. And man, it was a great fight night. I mean, there was a lot of great competitors out there. These guys were boxing each other's heads in, down on the ground, slamming. So it was just an exciting night all the way around. Uh, we always appreciate Rafael Garcia and WCFL for having us as a great sponsor and being a part of such a great event. So big shout out to him, all the fighters that were here. We're gonna go celebrate afterwards right now, the after party. But we want to give a big shout out to WCFL. And of course, Titan Medical Center is always going to be a part of always of these great events. Let's not forget, Cherise picked all the winners tonight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. Talk What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And I want to give a big shout out to all the fathers out there for Father's Day. And if they're not acting like they're supposed to be as fathers, big shout out to other mothers stepping up to be those fathers too, yep. and vice versa. For all you dads, step up to be those mothers on Mother's Day if the mother's not around or is not uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? It happens. And it does happen, you know? So big shout out to everybody out there and celebrating their day um, with their family members and loved ones. All right, so our topic today is uh, where to get your advice from on your relationship, okay? Now, obviously, you guys can tune to Cupid's Corner every Sunday because we're going to give you the best advice there is. Duh. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, you know, if, if you can't tune in on Sunday or you've tuned in every show and there might be questions that you need to be answered, where do you go? Okay. And there's, there's some easy ones I think that people will rattle off. The first one. Uh, their friends, best friend, or their mom or dad, maybe. Mom or dad. Right? Yep. That's usually who they go to. A lot of times, co workers end up getting the, the brunt of it because they go to work. Ooh. Right? They Ooh. go to work, and then, especially if it's a bunch of girls, I know this, a bunch of girls that work in an <laughs> office, right? And then just one's like, no, 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 this guy, blah, blah, blah. And then, oh, now you get to hear everybody's opinion. And usually, just so you guys know out there, it is not good for you. Yeah. Ever. Girls are always looking at the worst case scenario of their relationship and trying to project that onto you. Well, you know, you, you asked. So you ladies out there, be careful of that, all right? Because <laughs> Just be weary. I think women like a little bit more drama, drama than guys do, okay? So, you know, when you're over there and, you know, you're like getting your drink of water and everybody's huddled around there, just make sure you have in the back of your mind that it might not be the best advice to you, okay? Okay. <laughs> The next one out there I think people do is they go to Google. <laughs> Dr. Google. You know, Dr. Google will tell you everything. everything. Dr. Google has all the information in the whole wide world by a whole bunch of people that might be just giving their opinion. Yeah. So you might find some good things on there. You might find some bad things on there. So that might not be your best bet, but it could help in a couple of different circumstances. Okay. The next one, therapists. So people go to relationship therapists or their own therapists and they talk about some of the problems they're having in their relationship or a problem that they want to solve in their relationship. So this is just another avenue that they can go to, right? Um, but, you know, breaking all these things down, there might be some good and bad to each one, right? So, you know, you're going to have to decipher, is it really going to be good information that you're getting or bad information that might set you off, okay? Because, you know, these, these things can set other people off in different ways, right? Yeah. Something that you might not even be thinking about that one of these people or, or um, avenues, you know, give you the advice on, you're like, oh, my God, like, 
what are they doing now? You know, or, or I didn't even think about that. No, oh it'll God. just set you off. You know, it's the, I, I mean, I'd be lying if, I mean, me and him been together forever, right? <laughs> so I'd be lying if I told you any different, but somebody might have said something. And usually, like I told you, it was at work. And, you know, I'd go in there, complain about something, and they would say something that would set me off. You know what would happen? It would be terrible for John. This is terrible. See? This is terrible. This is way before Titan days. But I would start blowing his phone up. Like texting his phone, like da 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 da, and then this and this and this, and what about this? And then the, like he didn't even get a chance to answer. All I see is a little bit of bubbles, and he to unbubble, and then some bubbles, and then unbubble, and then I'm like, oh, change your mind now? What did you do? And not now I'm talking to myself, so now I'm just like psychotic, right? So I mean, this is just a very great real example yeah. of like what happens, you yeah. know? It just sets yeah. you off. So I mean, when we're talking about these issues, because everybody, every relationship is going to have problems, right? They're gonna they're gonna have some sort of speed bump. They need to get over, you know. And at that point, you know, people need to find out, you know, what they should do to possibly make it better for the relationship, or they can get over the speed bump very easily, right? So if you're talking to your parents or your siblings, right, just remember this: your siblings or your parents are probably going to be on your side majority of the time. Yeah. Because you're their baby. They don't want to see anybody do anything wrong to you. They don't want you upset or sad. They want to see you happy, right? Most of the time, the majority of the time. But at that point, you got to think like, all right, they're going to probably give me some good advice. Um, but, you know, you want to look for unbiased advice. I think that's the best thing, right? Yeah. And even if you're going into your coworkers, they're probably going to... Like I said, if it's girls, they're probably going to throw some more drama on there. No, they're just probably going to just give you the worst case scenario. Yes. Which is never good. And if they, they've been hurt or scorned. Scorned. They're going to just project that on you oh, too. Oh, the yeah. scorned ones. You know, the, the girls, yeah, that have been cheated on or has somebody messed them over pretty bad. Like, oh, no. They're the worst. I wonder, Guys are the I worst. wonder what yeah. he's doing right now. Yeah. Oh, do you and know what now, he's doing? Now you're here. You can't even, you won't even be able to know because you're here. <laughs> You know what, guys? I gotta clock out real quick. I gotta go on a lunch break. I gotta FaceTime this guy, see where he's at. There was Show no me. FaceTime back then. 360. Oh, oh, it's good now, though, right? FaceTime. Yeah, FaceTime will definitely do it. And if they're pinned up against a white wall, you go, hey, listen, why don't you turn around with that phone a little bit? Because <laughs> usually that's a trick that guys will do. They'll go into a bathroom, they'll have a white wall in back of them, they'll get on FaceTime. I know because some of my friends tell me this. And, and, and they'll, they'll talk to them, and they're just at this white wall. So, like, Hey, where you at, honey? Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. And I'm just, I, I stepped outside or I'm yeah. in a real quiet area yeah, so I, I can listen to, to you. You. Yeah. you know, I don't want anything. <laughs> so watch out for that one. Uh, for therapists, all right? So some people go to therapists. And therapists are a good way for people to be able to talk to them and, and release some of these different questions that they have to try to get some really, really unbiased answers. Because a therapist really doesn't know you or doesn't know your partner, right? Um, so they might give you some good information. And there's a lot of therapists out there that have done wonders for a lot of different people and helped them through a lot of different problems. So I'm not knocking therapists at all. But therapists are people just like us, right? No matter what their title is. They're a doctor. They're a lawyer. They're a police officer. They still been through therapist. stuff like us too. Or they're still going through stuff yeah. like you. Yeah. You know, it, it, what if the therapist has been divorced two or three times because I know therapists like that. Yeah. How are they going to give you the best advice because they went through school. all the negative stuff or no, school <laughs> or, or school? The yeah. Bu the book told you them know? what to tell you, you, you know? Yeah. Or they're doing different exercises with you or whatever it is, you know? So you, you got to look at that aspect too. Like make sure like, you know, you're looking through this information or when you're hearing this information, you're, you're kind of taking the carving good parts out. out of it, carving out yeah. some of the parts of it. You know, and let, let me just give you an example. Oh, my God. He started reading this. And oh this, this isn't from a therapist. This is from Dr. Google. The, Dr. Google. So this is for women. I'm just like, all right, so what, what do women do if they really want to Google somebody <laughs> or Google something that's going to help their relationship? And this was how to make him miss you. Okay. All these right? are great topics, guys. So these are great, there was great. eight different things that they covered in this. Terrible. One was don't be available 24-7. Now, guys, if you do that, this is not going to be good for you. Definitely not going to be good. This is not going to be good for All you. All right? Because it's going to be like, you know, where are you, where are you at? What are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you right now. Like, okay. Like, why? He'll go do something else. All right? He, he might think of like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want then too, right? Yeah. 
The next don't one was, that. don't be the first one to message first. You can message him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the next you one You can is, message him every time first. Look your best when you see him. Look your best all the time. So try to look your best all the time, right? Okay, no, but this goes both ways, though, guys. He better love you when you're waking up right out of that bed with, you know, no makeup on, your hair in a bun, looking all sorts of crazy. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, he needs no. to love you like that, just like that, too. They better get up early, guys, right? This is, this is, and wait, go wait. get ready while you're put, sleeping. Put on an apron, right? too, right? And cook your, exactly. cook your breakfast. Put on the apron naked. <laughs> do the makeup. Do the hair. Get your ass back in bed like you were sleeping still, right? And then you'll be fine. The alpha. <laughs> the next one is, have a great day and tell him about it. Okay? Well, why don't you ask him about his day, too, as well? Yeah, okay? goes both ways. It does go both ways. Speak with your body. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Okay, but if, I mean, if, if you're you, trying to have sexy body language, I guess that's okay. Okay, so that's a good one. Um, okay. Mirror him. I really don't understand that one either. Where they just try to be alike? I mean, me and him are alike, but we don't try. We don't try. That should come natural. That does right? come natural. Um, open up to him. Now, I think this that's is a, good a big one. one. I think, I think, think that's a, a really good one. You know, people need to talk. Hey, and listen, when they do open up to you, please do not judge them or like you know make them feel like they can never ever open up to you again because that yeah. will that will yeah. happen. So this, this one's all right too, I guess. Encourage him to spend time without you. So this is a big <laughs> no-no. Okay, this is this is like a total no no for me, right? Because I spent all my minutes with John, right? Uh, it's really weird. So I'm not going to compare myself to anyone normal out there, but I wouldn't encourage him to not spend time with you. Yeah, that that kind of opens up Pandora's box, right? Yeah, it's like hey, because go do something. If else. you're encouraging him not to spend time with you, it's going to uh, probably open up to more time getting not spent with you. And then he's going to be like, well, you're the one that told me not to spend time with you. Yeah, I'm and going out gonna, with the boys. And then you're going to be mad that he's not spending time with you. Right. And then you're going to get upset. And then yeah. you're going to be texting him a lot. Or you're going to be yep. texting him first. And then you're going to be available 24-7 because you're going to be waiting for him to text you back. Okay? And <laughs> no, then you're probably not going to look your best because you're ripping your hair out. You know what it is, Make though? smear because you're crying. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Mascara is all down your face. Listen, me and John played this this game, okay? <laughs> I, okay, don't let don't, don't Dr. Google fool you or Dr. John over here, right? That's right. Dr. But, John. But we played the game too, you know, and he would be like, will you stop playing games? Like, you know, because I, I would, you know, I'd be like, all right, fine, I'm going to do this because I, I would set it up where I would want something. So I would set it up a specific way where I would get what I want, right? Yeah. Because I'm smart. Yeah. But it wasn't always the right thing to do. That's right. And John is not stupid. Right. So he would pick up on some of these things that I was doing to try to get my way. Right. Yeah. So he's like, can you please stop playing these stupid games? So this is where it comes to, you know, just black and white. Don't play games with your partner. Yeah. Just be straight up. Just be straight up. If you want more time from the guy, tell your guy. Talk to him. Just be honestly. Communication is key. We say this every key. single episode. But I'm telling you, you tell if you tell him what you want. Then you'll get what you want, and if you don't get what you want, then you have a reason to go step off and do whatever you need to get need to do to get what you want. Because like you're not going around the bush asking for what you want. You're saying, "Hey, listen, I want this, or I want more time with you, or da 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 da." This is 2021, okay? Right. We're not. This is not back in the day where a woman couldn't speak up and say, "Hey, this is what I want from you. Please help," okay? Just open your mouth and have a conversation with him, and you'll see how far it gets you. Versus trying to play these games where it's like, I'm not going to text him back for hours and see if he misses me a lot. You know, it's just, it's kind of, it's dumb. It, you are opening yourself it's up dumb. for more issues It's because it's coming. I, I would say communicate the best you possibly can. Try to resolve your issues with your partner before Internally, you go anywhere. If you can. You start involving other people in your relationship, you're going to get other opinions that might persuade you to do things that you might not have done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this might cause other issues with relationship down the road, right? And your girlfriends or your co-workers at work, guys or girls, they might not be giving you the best advice. Mm -hmm. They might be jealousy relationship because they don't got their relationship or they don't got somebody that's treating them nice or whatever it is. And they're like, oh, well, you know, I don't have it, you don't have it. And they just scorn them. Just, it's sad, okay? And I've seen this quite a bit on both guys and girls because they want to spend, even guys, I want to spend more time with my guys. So, you know what? You don't need her around all the time. Why has she got to be around? Mm -hmm. Why do they got to come hang out with us? This goes on a lot, right? Yeah. And at that point, it can cause some animosity. So you don't want that either. And then therapists, like I said, take it for what it's worth. 
carve out the little information you could possibly get, maybe some exercises that might make the relationship better. But you know what? People are people, and they I can personally, make mistakes too. Me personally, if you ask me about therapists, I would personally say no. And the only reason I say that is they can start pinning you guys against each other where you may not have had that pinning. So sure. if you can try to resolve it internally, try your very best. Try to communicate. Try try. Try to not maybe communicate while each other, you guys are mad at each other. Wait till, wait till the cool down process happens and then just maybe try to catch a conversation on the off wind. Yeah, <laughs> that usually usually works a lot better than in the moment or maybe even like the same day. So don't let it bottle up either. You know, just try to let it out as you can. I mean, that's the best way that we can tell Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So these are just some of the tips and tricks for me and Sharice to hopefully help your guys' relationship or your future relationship, or whatever it is. So if you guys are having problems, try to talk it out, do the right thing, and uh, don't follow everything you find on Google. Dr. Google doesn't know Or everything. your friends, or your coworkers, or even therapists, all right? <laughs> so just do what's right, and usually things will work out. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner. We're here every Sunday, 11 a.m. for you guys. If you miss us, make sure you check out YouTube. Just type in Tight Medical Center. You'll see all the great episodes from Cupid's Corner and a lot more. I will thank you guys for tuning in one more time. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. See you next week.